can OG fight this though? Art's easy with the high ground, pops the BKB. Stampede's gonna be popped out, giving a bit of damage reduction for the side of OG, but no tail. Is it really enough to keep him alive? Doesn't look like it is. Fly comes out with the sun, they lose no tail. They jump forward and find Seb as well. S4 with the impetus is too much damage. Now OG, they're down no tail, they're down Seb without buyback. Seb down for a full minute. And they use the haunt in that fight. They're probably the most important tool for them to take any any real type of team fight versus EG. And now Thompson, can he really stay push it? He's actually he's taken down bottom. They're going for a bit of split push here. They've lost the mid racks. So obviously the damage from Samael, it, it's going to cut through these racks. They can't really afford to try and go for any sort of a base race. They're coming back in towards the base, but there's not going to be much of it left as EG. They take the full set middle and they take the full set top. Chris looking for a play too, looking for the swap. Swap. Anna. Manta tried to dodge it off, does manage to back off. Oh, TZ as he gets tossed in by Samoyo oh. there. Oh. Oh. Oops. Samoyo said, do you have to get in the way, Arto? Now, so that'll put a little bit of a stop to it. Obviously, EG still in a very comfortable position after taking those two sets of racks. Yeah, I mean, they all just got so much gold. Now, Samoyo finally has that BKB that the, he thought he'd be going for earlier. Forward. There's the Fiend script. There's the jump forward. And he's gone. Didn't have a smile on his face this time round, as now OG could actually look to threaten the base a little bit. They're straight in, onto that bottom tier three, the fortification comes out. There's no tail, so let's actually find the Nightmare onto Fly. He's playing around with the two of them, that is going to give space for the rest of OG to push Wait, on this bottom EG, lane. They don't have TPs. They don't. It's Crit and Fly who are being bothered by no tail I'll be right sure now. they kill the pain, but down on the bottom lane, look at the base. Sumail just got his TP delivered on the Courier, but that racks. It's going down. S4 makes his way down here. And Anna. But they get the melee Rex. And he's out with the TP. The wave of terror, though. It's easy. They're going to swap for the TP. He's still very tanky with the heart. Can he walk himself away? He's got the back of the tops and two. So Anna, on the retreat, he will still get out. So OG for the jump, but they able to burst down. Fly, Fly's gone out of the fight. Seb, Riggle with S4, S4 pops the BKB. OG now backing up. Seb on the front lines, tanking it all, but the damage from Samael will be enough. Big Crit comes in with a tree throw as Samael gets himself the double kill. Finding Seb. It's Jarax, Thompson, and Anna back up. It's cool down. Anna's going to walk into him here. The Manta dodge. Buyback's going to come out from Seb. They feel like they can maybe try and take this fight, but Samael is in with the combo. The damage is too much damage. He's going to wow. crit it down. They've lost Jarex out of trying to run himself away from the birds too much. Seb jumps in. The buyback, the hawk from Anna. He's, he comes into play. Can he turn this one around? Seb falling low. Taken down the home missile. They'll get off TZ. Can they get anything more? They're able to fight Scotty. They're able to fight Fly. The buyback hawk from Anna. Absolutely doing it. The buyback's there from OG. No hesitation is now up TZ. He fights back. There's four dead on EG. Three of them don't have buyback. They're going to have to clean up this range racks, but thankful for EG for them they that they have those two. They can't. The tier twos are still up. They still have all their outer towers still alive. But they claim something. With Take it down straight away. They'll go for the supernova on the high ground. S4 and Samel looking towards Thompson. Have they got the damage to bring him down? The axe that peak coming through. Not enough to save Thompson. Thompson's dead. Buys back. Immediately back in the fight, Anna. Artizis is being chased by Anna. He's he can't run away. Artizis can't get himself out of this. He's dead for 100 seconds. Anna S4. TP's back to base. Flying Samael, will they get out? No, does he find him? Does he find him? He doesn't. Yes. Samael gets back. They're the space for S4 to get back. They try for an avalanche, doesn't connect. Nimbus get thrown down on top of RTZ. RTZ to the side, trying to take the Nimbus. Thunder goes Wrath used by Thompson. They'll pop the horn. RTZ just have to pop the BKB run away. Crit gets surrounded. Crit gets taken down. They'll go for the Supernova. OG looking towards the side. Can they take it down? It's how they can. They get the Supernova. Samael going over the BKB. Looking towards Seb. Breaks down Seb and Anna. Still alive. Cuts down Samael. Double kill for Anna. S4 trying to run himself away for Jax, his balls, but Jax with the right clicks gets the kill. Four dead on EG, Samael has to buy back. The rest of them do have buybacks available as well. OG, they'll lose two, but they've got the big boys still alive. Anna and Thompson pushing on the tree throw, not enough to kill off Jarax. These two are still just full health, full mana. Thompson is pretty much full. There's another buyback from Crit, and there's another buyback from Seb. Ready to go in the mid lane. Samel getting stunned up by the Nimbus. Anna moving in. Samel getting forced back. They've got to keep alive. Artiz, he dies! Buys back as well. Four buybacks, including some It's a full team buyback here from EG. Set four. John John. Set with the double edge. S4 bursting down by the Nimbus. They lose S4. He's down Holy without God. buyback. OG into the middle lane, onto the high ground, and taking a tier three tower. The fortification gets popped. EG, can they hold with just the four of them as OG? 
They found the tower. They can't get to the back lines. They can't go through Ana. They can't kill the Zeus. They can't kill this Io. As that is going to be another set of racks at the least for OG as they find the melee racks mid. Samael. Can he get any sort of jump in the homing missile connects onto Ana? We'll throw the tree out, but that is the full set of racks gone mid. They're moving straight towards the top lane. OG ready to hunt for those megas. There's the swap. They get the swap on and they get the silver edge. Can they burst him in time? No, the axe stampede. The damage reduction, keeping Anna safe. The sunray potential damage doing a fair bit. Anna trying to walk his way out of the base. They've got the toss. They kill him. They get Anna down for two minutes. Jarrett's still alive with about two HP at the moment. Able to tear the reserve up to the high ground. He'll live. But they do push OG back. They get that kill on Anna. A clutch swap play does cost Crit his life. Three, two, they're going to have it. They've got the Aegis on Arteezy. And it looks like OG don't want to fight straight away into it. They're popping the Axe Stampede. Now they look to jump. Jump forward. Except does get punched straight away. Post the refresh. He gets the second Stampede off. They've got the control on Arteezy. Arteezy taken now once. They get the Aegis out of the Supernova. Successful though from Fly. Stunning up Anna. But do they have the damage to actually kill Samael? Looking at what's out of it. Anna pops the out to the dead to Samael. Samael take it down. Down for two minutes. Arteezy trying to back off. There's going to be a buyback for Jerax. They get the Nimbus out onto Fly. Fly. Jump top by Sam. The Who Stop takes him out. Two dead on EG. The base of EG. G also the creeps. They don't have buyback. Fly and Samael are dead for two minutes pretty much. OG going straight down the middle lane. There's only S4, RTG and Critter left standing. And they're coming in Jerex as well. Coming he, forward. He's got a rapier, but it's almost certainly they're going for the base. OG looking to close things up. They're onto the agent. They're beating it down at a pace that he can't compare to. GG oh is good. OG win the series two to one. What? Against Evil Genius is knocking EG down to the lower bracket. OG will move one step closer to the Aegis as they continue their run in the upper bracket after what a series, what a game three, and Samael heartbroken, understandably so, losing a game, Samael 31 4 and 8. It's going to be one of the best KDAs we've seen on a losing team as OG against all odds. We were able to bring this game back round. What unbelievable comebacks we have between these two teams in two back-to-back -back games. OG with the fortitude to stick through it after dealing with such adversity oh. as the oh. oh, the look there from Nota. I mean, you could feel it this game. There was the drama, there was the passion, and OG against any other team, I don't know if they would have played as well as they did here. They did seem you to have a fire lit under you them. You could absolutely feel it from OG. We saw an incredible turnaround from EG in Game 2, but that comeback and turnaround from OG in Game 3 has to be by far the biggest that we've seen here at this TI. Absolutely, that was remarkable to see just the itemization, every little play coming in here for this matchup. What a game, what a way to end the day, and of course we'll now pass it back to the panel to wrap that one up. What a Game 3, OG take the series 2-1. to one.